The other part of the story is that the woman was a little bit on the nosy side, predominantly probably because I sort of put her in her place in the fact explaining what other people have tried to do to me and which I'm totally allergic to their food. She did hit me on the money on a few things and I decided to accept it because God said please receive it and I did that. Mainly probably because there was children in the car and I always want kids to know that kindness is granted. In other words, kindness is something that people are grateful for. I hope that I had, did mind my P's and Q's as my late mother used to say and thanked her for the food. But at the same time, I did take a little bit of time to show her my program and run through a little bit of a few pages of it so that she would get me. The challenge that I felt is that she was telling me and playing me that she was a teacher. And I didn't exactly buy it because she said she was a teacher for K through 4, but she wouldn't tell me the subjects that she taught. She just kept saying everything. And so I played her with the factual information that I used to teach language in school. But after, after that, she told me she could say a few words, and I'm glad for that. But at the same time, I'm concerned because I've had somebody hacking my accounts, and her husband is a marvelous guy who works in technology. So that makes me nervous. In life, people don't mind help, but people need very targeted help so that they can get what they need. I did let her know that I was, you know, plentiful in terms of my food, and that's usually what I'm not, what I, isn't what I'm after. What I did say is that I have clothes that have to be washed, and the hard part is out here, there's no laundromat. Now, that's my business, but I also have other things that I'm looking for getting, and what I looked at when I looked at the property values of what she provided me for free, which I do am feel great gratitude for, I do have a plan for it, and I did try to share with someone else, and they refused, like I do, and openly, uh, my point is that the value that she gifted to me could have possibly been used and invested in something else. So I don't ever want to appear ungrateful, but sometimes I just wish someone would do what I've asked. Ask me what I need, and I'll tell you. Then you tell me whether or not you can help me to achieve that in a day or not. And if not, then we part ways as friends. Or you walk into the store that's closest to me, and you get me a gift card to make amends.